and one more lighthouse right there. That means this area right here should be about the prime spot. So let's find out. Taking a scoop there, there is half a million sands in one scoop. Half a million. Yay, progress. That's right, I've started a brand new file because I had a whole bunch of coffee and thought, I have an idea, and I'm already regretting it. I honestly forgot how slow things are at the start. The first skill we're gonna get is actually industry, and I've just realized I may have made my first mistake. Turns out I was okay with my original choice. It's a new record, I've got more than five minutes without screwing something up. Pretty tough choice at this point. All I really need is more real estate anyway, mostly just so that I have more things to mine for a minute. And one of these way down here, note that it's way down there out of the way. Level 4, and oddly enough, we're going for storage, simply because that leads to lighthouses. Now that I'm at this part about 10 minutes in, I'm very worried none of this is going to work and I'm wasting my time once again. And there it is, the level 5 we've been looking for. Pretty expensive to build early on in the game. Gonna sacrifice all my gold bars, turn them into coins so I get more real estate. Because before you know it, you'll have enough for another island, and what a big one. This had better be worth a trip over. Nope, complete garbage for what I'm doing. Before we get too carried away, might as well upgrade the pickaxe, it's only gonna make things faster. And at this point, I really want things to go faster. While we're waiting, I've unlocked foraging. I didn't want to have to do that, but I do have to. In a game called Forager, it's ironically one of the skills I don't want. Okay, there we go, damage increased by 75%, that is huge. And still somehow pretty slow. In hindsight, probably should have gone for these skills first. Simply because 25% more XP from plants and crops, and we could have had the shovel by now. You heard that right, we're after the shovel. Because as you see, we clearly don't have any lighthouses yet, because we need the shovel to get sand for glass. Since we can, might as well, more real estate. One of my favorites. There it is, level 8. Which is huge for me because I need that shovel. And luckily that's no problem to build. And that's great because these digging spots have been mocking me from the very beginning. The greatest tool there ever was. Alright, so what's hiding in these spots? Arrows and... A bone and sand. See, all useful stuff. One thing I kind of failed to consider is how rare sand really is with your most basic shovel. Luckily for me, I have nothing better to do with my time. And I'm actually going to leave these giant turnips alone. That might be surprising, but I'm saving up for when I get really frustrated with my stupid idea. And that probably won't take long. So consider this a warning. Next level, basically architecture. Mostly because it's a stepping stone to other ones, but structures cost 25% fewer materials. And a better shovel, which hopefully finds me more sand. But is that actually going to work? At the very least, it will irrigate the dirt, which is completely useless. And mine's a slightly bigger area, so whatever, we'll make this work. Gonna need a sewing station just for some very basic thread. Yet another benefit of this shovel, so many gems that I actually can't do anything with them yet. Level 10, there's probably better skills I could be getting right now, but I'm too lazy to figure out what they are, so we're just gonna keep working our way up. This one was okay because lighthouses have double area of effect. Started a second furnace at this point, basically strictly for coal. Another level up means another skill getting way ahead of ourselves. Another level up, and we're just going for coinage. And just under an hour since I started this wonderfully stupid idea, we get our very first lighthouse, which does make things a little bit brighter but it also gives us extra materials in its radius. We can't currently see the radius, but it's quite big. And I did intentionally place it there, that way I could affect several islands all at once. So now I'm obviously going to focus more around the lighthouse area because I get 50% more resources. And there's lucky level 13, which gives us the point we need for markets, that way I can sell stuff. And they're not too expensive to build, and that's great because my inventory is full of stuff I don't need to be carrying. And the obvious choice is a bigger backpack. Very easy to build. And that actually is going to solve quite a few of my problems right away. And already, it's time for another lighthouse. You can see the radius of this as you're building it, so it covers basically that entire island, plus a good half of the rest of the islands. And they are going to get more and more expensive as we build them, but they're going to be worth it because each one multiplies 50% more materials, which means that your days are numbered. My next skill is going to be brilliant, simply because 20% more experience. Probably should have already had this one. For this level, I need leather. Sewing it is. And now we can finally get our market. Something we probably should have done a long time ago, but now I can sell a bunch of my stuff to make extra money and have room again. Because just getting to market has me up to almost 500 gold. Interestingly enough, there is some landfill here for us to buy, so I'm actually going to take all of that, because I can just put more land in around my lighthouses and have more room to work with. I do need to be kind of careful how I do it though, because I don't want to take up any space that could otherwise be occupied by a lighthouse. So we'll just go with something like that for now. I'll add more land later as I see fit. And just like that, we're already ready for lighthouse number three. Even more materials to be found, and it's already starting to get kind of ridiculous, just the things I can dig up. I need to start working my way kind of to the left. Trees now drop 50% more wood. I simply need that because I'm going through so much coal that I need more trees. Whoops. 
Let's not talk about it. And since I just can't be the only thing that dies, we'll take care of these guys. They're taking a valuable room anyway. This needs to be lighthouse materials. Did drop up to 68 uh, beats, so that's going to be great energy. Thank you for your sacrifice. I'll never forget you. Now that they're out of the way, I'm free to dig up everything I want to dig up. We're still only really getting 8 sand at a time, but every lighthouse is going to make a huge difference. Plus the occasional rare items. And definitely mining at this point. Rocks drop 40% more minerals. I realize now that I'm doing this all basically completely backwards. I should have done the resources and experience and then went up economy. But hey, look at me go. Next will be this one. If I buy land here, is it the desert? I would really like some desert. Perfect. Five entire lands. Another level up means this one. 10% more chance of dropping gems, 30% better chance of rare items. Next is probably going to be geology because I never ever have enough coal. Now to see if this part of the plan is going to bear any fruit. The nomad shovel. That one should find me lots of sand. Digging always yields sand, which is perfect. Uh, at least I hope it is. Let's see how much this is going to find us now. Couple digs, nine there, whatever that is. That's good enough for me. And a medium backpack because I just never ever have enough room for anything. Finally got the next level up I wanted. So that means all rocks drop coal. So a standard rock near my lighthouses now drops. Now get out of the way. I can't see the number. That might have only been four, but we're still pretty shy on lighthouses. There's seven for that one, and we're building more. While we're at it, better pickaxe on the way, make the whole process faster. And there it is. Couldn't care less about the bone. This wants stuff to break faster when I hit it. How about another one? How far is it going to reach if we put it there? Still quite a ways, and even a little bit over into the desert area, which is perfect. Now one spoonful of dirt gets me. 16's across the board. 65 plus something equals a lot. I think it's about 66 sand per shovelful currently, and that number's going up big every time I do it. Except for that one. I don't know why there's some inconsistencies. Even as killing the cows now give me 5 meat plus a bunch of hide the big level 20 so we're gonna circle back to capitalism because you get xp when selling items if you see what i'm getting at so let's do ourselves a little favor and dig up all the sand we can right here then we're gonna sell that and see exactly what it gives us for experience at level 20 keep in mind that i have already been gathering sand for quite a while i'm not sure how much i have in total we'll definitely check before we sell just under 2000 and you saw it wouldn't really take me that long to gather all this selling that level 21 Almost two full levels just from that little bit of sand. Using my newfound skill, I think it's appropriate to a quarry at this point just to keep my ore and coal going up and up. And currently there's not really a lot of other things I have an abundance of. I've got lots of jelly that might level me up. There it is. So let's get our furnaces and forges working faster than ever. Lighthouse number five, tucked neatly in back. At some point I can circle this whole thing because the radius will hit everything. But we should be getting 50% more sand than we were before. So the sand gathering now looks something like this. It's looking like 120 per shovelful, which is going to add up really, really quick. So one pass now along my little route gets me 1,740 sand which it gives me a level up, uh, along with a bunch of other stuff too that'll probably level me up as well, but might as well just use sand. Plus a mining rod at some point would be just great. I'm really sick of hitting things with my pickaxe. And since we're just waiting for furnaces anyway, let's get us some more sand. It's our money maker. Another almost 2,000 sand and another level up. It's that easy. Not sure where mining rods even are, so we're just gonna kind of work our way up in that direction. Yep, found it, and I even have the spare point for it. Plus crafted items collect themselves, so that's gonna save me a lot of walking. Level 25, and I didn't even have to sell anything that time. How about lighthouse number 6? I suspect we'll start getting a ridiculous amount of sand pretty soon. It's already looking like 300 per scoop sort of thing. In fact, I was digging so hard I killed myself. What a surprise. So what happens if we sell all 6,000 sand? Two levels, 27, just like that. What oh, would be super helpful at this point though is if I could find the last gems I need to build my quarry that way we can get started on other things. Well, there's the three hour mark apparently. Pretty good progress considering, and considering the progress is speeding up now that I've got things rolling. It really won't be long at this point till I hit max level. And do we get another level up? We do, 28. I should probably spend some of my four skill points now. Before we do that, I think I want my quarry, and I think I want it on this island. That way I can spread ore all over this island like that, and I should find extra things to those lighthouses. Houses. Now I just need a lightning rod and I'm going to have everything I ever wanted and more. So I'm not entirely sure if the lighthouses affect these things or not. We'll see how many crystals we find. Not very many. This quarry might be better served elsewhere. I'm actually really not sure if the lighthouses have an effect on these things. There's 14 rocks and 14 coals, so it seems to have an effect on some of them. Actually, yes, there's 38 iron just from that one. Yep, it works. So for a mining rod, two steel, three more brick. 
So from this point forward, it's going to be rapid fire because I'm going to have all the gems and ore I could possibly ever need and I'm just going to add more and more lighthouses until the game explodes. I might even add several lightning rods, but we'll see. You can get the thing that doubles their firepower and I'm definitely going to do that. I feel like I'm also going to need a ton more furnaces to keep up with this all and that's just fine by me. But the mining rod can reach quite a way so I can actually put it mostly out of the way of the lighthouses for now even. I'm going to put it right there and it's still going to reach everything here. Heating up some of these skills, all structures have a 20% chance to double items, that's important. Important. Mining rods deal double damage. I need that crap cleared away quick as possible. All structures are 25% faster. Berries. And uh, I don't really remember what it takes to make these. But I feel at this point like I've got skills to burn and I've almost leveled up again anyway. Since there's nothing I really can do with a single space like that, I'm going to put the second mining rod there so it'll be able to more so focus on what's going on up here. And time to get started on my newest furnaces because suddenly we're going to find ourselves making a ton of stuff. I think I'm actually also going to put a mining rod just on this island to slowly work away picking at all this stuff because there's really good stuff on this island anyway and considering i can just ignore the mining rod forever now that's just easy everything seems to be working pretty quick over here gonna clear it out a bit so i can sweep up the sand and keep on keeping on definitely gonna unlock the bombs next the bombs are always my favorite because they clear everything out by far the fastest cauldrons which are actually pretty easy to build which is great because now i can make bombs and i'm gonna make as many as i can down the road Right here is about the point where my resources are completely going to run away on me, so I'll basically just have too much of everything and I can just build as fast as I can build. Well, I'm at it. Let's add a quarry over here on this island with this lonely mining rod. That way, it's got lots to work on too. Won't be as much as the other one, but at least it's got something to do. Time for another lighthouse. Uh, so this one's going to fit in right here. And things are nicely cleaned up, so let's see how much sand we're going to get now. I definitely didn't even get the whole area, but there's four and a half thousand, which is good enough for a level up. Another lighthouse already? That was like two minutes away from the last one. We're going to tuck it in somewhere here. It's still larger than overlap the other ones, but also we're going to start on this side too to get everything going. So let's see what kind of sand we're finding now. Up to a thousand per scoop already. It's multiplying so quick it's ridiculous. I'll take one level up please for 7,500 sand. Two levels up. And I had completely forgotten about jewelry. Amulets. And we'll maybe take this one for boots and gloves just so I can potentially move faster. But at this point, it's really just the amulets I'm after, which are easy enough to build at this point and find me extra resources. So imagine a multiplier now on top of everything. Why is there 7,000 gold sitting here? I'll take that. And just like that, 25% more resources on top of the ridiculous amount I was already getting. And we can do the next one already. 50% more resources. And looks like it's about time for some more sand. I really don't even know what to be spending my points on anymore. Next one's done. 75% more resources. The multipliers are adding up. I can already buy half the royal steel I need to make the next one. This is the kind of production I like to see. Would still be nice to have a power plant though. But you know, effort, and I guess I don't really need anything further. 100% more resources. Plus, we get another lighthouse already. This one I think is going to go right there. It kind of sucks the quarries getting in the way, but that makes this area right here richer than ever before. Over a thousand per scoop. Way over a thousand. Look at the stacks. 2,000, 5,000, 2,000. We're not even close to maximizing our lighthouse potential yet. So that last run gave us 27,000 sand which is good for that many levels and we're basically there to building another lighthouse which we'll just be a moment eh why not we gotta start unlocking stuff anyway wow that was fast i just closed the menu where are we gonna put this one can we tuck it in here somewhere yeah that's pretty good there time for another one already at this point i think i'm just gonna work my way up and around and we'll just circle the whole thing let's give it the handy test there is 17,000, 16,000 sand in nine squares and i know that we can do a lot better than that but for now how's that gonna work out for us 107,000 sand that many so how much wood do we get from a single tree at this point? Only nine? That's boring. And another lighthouse fits nicely right there. Almost have enough for two more lighthouses. This is really the last one I can fit tightly around the outside of the island. But that doesn't mean we can't squeeze a few more in. Now, where do we squeeze this one in? Up top, to the side, I don't know where it's going to fit best. Probably right here. You know what? We're going to hide it way up the top there. That's kind of an ugly little gap, but there's not really anything we can do about that. Well, let's take a look right now to see what a regular rock gives us for materials. Once it all kind of settles down, we got 61 coal, 106 stones, and I don't know how many gems. It was a lot. And guess Guess what? We get another one already. This one I am just gonna kind of have to put out here wherever because I'm just running out of room. And one more lighthouse right there. That means this area right here should be about the prime spot. So let's find out. Taking a scoop there, there is half a million sands in one scoop. Half a million. Which makes me wonder if I do this whole area, is it gonna hit me to max level just like that? We'll find out. I should have almost done this on a smaller island where I could squeeze more lighthouses in around them. Hopefully this doesn't crash the game. I think my favorite part of the lighthouses though is how bright it makes everything. Feels like it's daytime right now and it's actually the middle of the night. Now just to go over it and make sure I didn't miss any spots because every little spot adds up to a big amount here. No, I think we about got it all. At this point, the lighthouses are getting more and more expensive. It wouldn't be that bad if I get a power plant. I just don't want to set up plastic production right now. 
So there is, I believe, 6.09 million sands here, something like that. Let's find out what this does to our level. Cool. 65. Yep, that was it. Max level, just like that. Plus a million coins. Um, so that was fun. And this all took me about four hours, maybe even a little less.